guys, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I have been doing a ton of garage sailing and I've been having so much fun and so today I would like to share with you garage sale haul number 29. When I think about how long I've been doing these garage sale hauls for and how many there are, it completely amazes me. Lately I have been finding a ton of great stuff and instead of showing you everything I get one weekend in one video, I've been kind of spreading it out because I've been finding so much stuff. So this haul is going to be from several different garage sale weekends. So when I do a thrift haul, I usually just show you thrifted stuff and when I do a garage sale haul, I usually just show you, show you the garage sale haul stuff. But this week I actually went to the thrift store as well, so a couple of these items are thrifted as well. Alright, so let's just jump into the haul. I actually found this about a month ago. Um, it was actually on the same day that I found the ET plush that I got. I am really excited about this. It is actually gift wrapped from 1986 uh, that is DuckTales. I think that this stuff is the coolest stuff to find. I don't know why, I just love it when things are like in the original packaging and you can just like remember remember that like this was popular at one point and people wanted to get this to put gifts in. So I just love this. It is the Huey, Dewey, and Louie with what's Scrooge McDuck I think that's his name. Um, and oh man what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name. I feel like a bad person. Um, but this is what the back of the gift wrap looks like. I probably won't actually use this for a gift wrap. Maybe I'll use it for like a scrapbook or something. I don't scrapbook though so Maybe I've been inspired to start scrapbooking. I'm really not sure what I'll use this for, but it was like 10 cents and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I really need to get this. So I thought this was a really fun find. I actually got this for my little sister. This is a lamb chop and it's like a Macy's parade, I think like a Macy's parade lamb chop. Um, and she has always loved lamb chop ever since she was little. Uh, she would have like lamb chop bedding and lamb chop, you know, toys and lamb, lamb chop videos and everything. So I saw this at a garage sale and I decided to pick it up for her for Christmas but I'm actually showing it to you now because she came over a few days ago and she saw it so she already knows she's getting it um, but it's just this cute little lamb chop with a Christmas hat and a little Christmas scarf and um, I just think that lamb chop is the cutest. Is lamb chop a boy or a girl? I think it's a boy? I don't know. Maybe it's a girl? I don't know. I. I sometimes think of Lamb Chop and Tweety Bird in like the same grouping because are they boys or girls? Like, I don't know, it could go either way. You guys know how obsessed I am with peanuts and anything Snoopy, and this is a Charlie Brown tree. I believe they sold these at Hallmark. I think I saw something Hallmark on here somewhere, um, but I might be wrong. And I actually got this for just a dollar. I think it's really, really cute. I'm wondering if my grandma has this, because if she doesn't, I might give it to her um, for Christmas because she's the, my inspiration inspiration for my love of Snoopy. But if not, maybe I'll put it up in my classroom or at the after school program or in my house. I really don't know. Um, but I got it for just a dollar and I think it's really cute and I can't wait to use it at Christmas. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I run an after school program and so lately I've been collecting puzzles for the kids because I was really surprised to learn that they really enjoy doing them. So I was able to find a few puzzles and I'm going to bring them to after school. One thing I am learning though is that the puzzles I'm getting are a little too hard so I do kind of have to get the easier ones at least at this point until they build up their puzzle stamina I don't know um, you know I think they just need practice doing them so the ones that I picked up are kind of easy I think these will be great for them to do quickly and I think they'll really enjoy them you guys also know that I am a nostalgia freak and so if I see something that reminds me of my childhood you can bet that I'm going to buy it and you can bet that my kids are gonna play with it so um, this is an Aladdin puzzle so this is an eight piece puzzle which I think will be great for like the kindergarten kids to do um, you know maybe once they get used to doing puzzles uh, they'll be able to do slightly more challenging puzzles but at this point this is kind of the level that some of my kids are at with doing puzzles. Another puzzle that I got that will be slightly more challenging is this The Land Before Time puzzle. This is a definite throwback. I love The Land Before Time. I've collected some of the little puppets that came from Pizza Hut. I'll insert the video above in case you guys want to see that video where I found those puppets. Um, I love The Land Before Time. I even like guiltily love like all of The Land Before Time. It's like like, I don't even know what number Land Before Time they're on right now, but my sister and I can sing all of the songs. So, this puzzle was only 25 cents. I got it at the same place that I got all those other puzzles, and I can't wait to give it to my kids. So these other puzzles aren't necessarily nostalgic for me, but I think they'll be great for my kids. It's actually an eight-piece puzzle as well. It just has these four um, big parts and then these smaller ones uh, with the words. And I think this will be good for my kids because they will actually be reading as well. So I got, I picked up this... Whoops. I think this might be a little bit older because the PlaySchool logo looks a little bit older on it. I don't know if you guys can really see it. 
kind of see it. It looks like a little bit of an older logo for them, so this was 50 cents. I also picked up this zoo animal puzzle, which I think will be good for them. And I also picked up this bicycle puzzle, which I think will be fun as well. It says ages one to three, but sometimes at the end of a long day at school, you don't really want to challenge your brain that much, so sometimes they get a little lazy and they would prefer something like this. So now they have lots of options. I went to another sale where I found a bunch of books. I really loved this sale because it was supporting the Boy Scouts, but it was really cool because it was like all of their families brought all of like their stuff to this one tent and you were able to go through everything um, and I just had a lot of fun and I thought there was a lot of great stuff so let me share with you the books that I found. I also have an obsession with big books. I remember when I was little like being in kindergarten I loved it when the teacher read with those big books so I try to actually have some of those in my classroom and I actually do teach with them so this is one of those big books it's not like giant like the big big ones are but this is the pentathlon a story about addition and subtraction so this will go to my classroom eight gangling arms this is a story about multiplication five minutes more a story about time do you guys see the theme the counting cousins a book about place value baby bears quilt a story about area a new fence a story about length diffo the dynamo a story about subtraction this one I'm really excited about it's called mathematics from many cultures and I just think that's great because my students are from many cultures um, and I just love it has all different things magic squares um, it said Aztec um, magic Native American houses all different things so I think this will be great my kids will love this Ollie the Packer a story about multiplication and Miss Gobbledygook Miss Gobbledygook a story about multiplication and division so I'm really happy that I found these my mom actually saw them first and she um, grabbed all of them for me and I'm excited to have more math stuff in my classroom because I don't really have a ton of math stuff in my room these next few things came from the thrift store I can't wait to share them with you I love these shoes these shoes are so perfect they are gap and they there has to be a word for this Guys, I'm losing my words. I feel like I'm losing my brain right now. Um, but whatever type of shoe this is, um, you guys are usually really good at telling me different types of shoes. Um, so I love these shoes. They're tan and they have like black polka dots on them. Here they are a little closer. They are so cute. I've worn these a couple days over the past couple weeks um, and I've actually taken pictures with them on my Instagram uh, for my thrifty teacher outfits of the day that I post every day. Um, well, every day during the week. The only problem is they haven't been worn in and they hurt so bad. The first day I wore them, I was like, these are great. I love these. I look so cute. Like 20 minutes into my day, I was like, this is the worst decision I ever made. Once they're broken in, I know they'll be perfect. But at this point, oh my goodness gracious, they hurt my feet so bad. And because I travel, I work with kindergarten through fifth grade, I'm always walking the building. And at the end of the day, I was like, oh, these hurt. I love these shoes. They were a great find at the thrift store. I am so sneakily like infusing 90s culture into their lives. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, you want to play with it? It's got to be from the 90s. I also got this dress at the thrift store. It has this beautiful cutout top. I'm going to a wedding tomorrow and I think I might wear this. I'm not quite sure. It's probably going to be a little warm. It's kind of coming across like really purpley on the camera um it's I don't even know how you would describe this color it is like a purple it's like a purple maroon kind of um but it's just this cutout top with a sweetheart uh pattern with a sweetheart seaming on the top and then the three-quarter length sleeves and it is about two knee length I think this will be really cute I hope it's not too hot to wear it it's actually kind of made out of a pretty thin material like I can see my hand through it um, I'll have to wear Spanx or something underneath it. I love this piece and I think it will be great for the wedding, possibly if it's not too hot. Several videos ago I talked about how my friend and I host youth pageants and youth talent showcases in our community. Lately what we've been doing is we have been giving scholarships to young girls and boys who would like to participate but who wouldn't regularly be able to afford to do something like that. And so we've been giving them scholarships to participate and we have also been letting them pick a dress out of our pageant closet. So I was actually able to find another dress at the thrift store and it was half off so let me share it with you so I think this dress is really sweet I actually found it with another dress that was like for a bigger girl so I think that this was actually like part of a bridal party um, but it's this like really cute like uh, ruched top and then it has this really pretty sequin gold belt but it's like a big poofy ball gown some girl is going to pick this and absolutely love this I can't wait to see who would like to wear this at a pageant I think this dress is super sweet and I can't wait to see which little one decides to wear it. Whenever I see things that make me feel nostalgic, you guys know that I have to pick them up. When I went to the thrift store recently, I saw a game sitting with the bric-a-brac and all of the, like, the knickknacks and stuff like that, and I knew instantly that 
no matter what, I had to take the game home with me. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it, but if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, let me show you what game I found. This is the coolest game. This is a Little Mermaid Takey Journey Under the Sea with Ariel game. I think that this is really cool. I didn't have this game when I was little, but I could tell that it was definitely from the original Little Mermaid. I mean, look at it, you can just tell. Something even cooler about this is that it is a 3D game. So like the board is like vertical, which I think is really, really fun. This is what the back of the game looks like. I mean, look at their outfits, come on. You can tell that this is from the 80s or 90s. I think it's from the 80s. And I really, really love this game. I'm going to end up bringing it to after school. I have no purpose for it at my home, but my kids still love Ariel. They all watch the movie and so I think that they will enjoy playing this. I got that game for $3.99 and I can't wait to bring it to after school so that I can share it with my kids. I know they will love playing it. Well that's it for the haul. Thank you so much for watching. I recently posted a DIY Father's Day gift idea collab and I would love for you guys to check it out. I have linked that above in case you haven't seen it. So if you are a crafty YouTuber and would like to join my Creative Collabs Facebook group, I have left the link to the Facebook group below. Please join us. We would love to have you. Don't forget to check out my my blog at thriftedlivingblog.wordpress.com. Please follow me on Instagram to see my thrifted teacher outfits of the day. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!